Andrew here at GoPro Wrestling, and I'm standing next to one of the all-time legends of professional wrestling, Wildfire Tommy Rich, and it is an absolute honor to be standing next to you, sir. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. You're Thank you. Hey, I hate to interrupt you, but I just want to get this in real quick, because if it wasn't for all the wrestling fans out here, you wouldn't be standing here, and I wouldn't be standing here today either. So God bless, and thanks to all of them at the top of the show. Thank you. You're, you're really a class act, Tommy, and I, I just, you know, it's a real honor to be, and I told you this before the interview, you're one of my favorites growing up, and it's absolutely absolute honor. My first question is, I noticed the shirt, the, um, the Wildfire Ta School of Wrestling in Myrtle Beach. You have, a, you have a wrestling school in Myrtle Beach? Yes, sir. Uh, living the dream. A lot of people go there to retire. I'm starting a third phase of my life right now. I'm in Myrtle Beach. Uh, the king said it the best. I ain't talking about Jerry Law. I'm talking about the king of rock and roll. You got to follow that dream wherever it may lead you. If you dream, whether it's to be a lawyer, whether it's to be a trash hauler, or whether it's to be a professional wrestler, you've got to have the passion the heart and the desire. Come to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Live your dream with me because we, we, hey, we got a gym. It's got 200,000 square feet. Uh, it's got indoor basketball courts, soccer courts, got a retired baseball player that trains kids. So we're in the middle of a place that trains superstars. So come on down. And plus, what we're offering at our school that a lot don't is the opportunity. You graduate from my class. We're going to run wrestling shows starting in October. So if you cut the mustard, make the grade, then come on down. If you dream to be a wrestler, announcer, lady wrestler, we're going to train every aspect. I'm going to bring guys like Jimmy Hardy in sometimes to train the managers. Got like guys like Manny Fernandez, Tony Ellis, and Austin Idol. They was there at our grand opening, man. So the support from the wrestling world of my friends, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you might not talk to them for 10 years, but when you, when you meet up with them, it's just like it's yesterday. Because that's camaraderie we had you know and it's it's a lot different today and and what all i can tell you though you said what would i tell them my my answer to that would be just hold on and listen what's the best advice you received um as a young wrestler keep my mouth shut and listen and who told you that Probably all of them, because I, I learned from the greatest. I mean, I can go on for days, but, you know, I, of course, Harley Race, God bless him. I know his health ain't the best in the world, but if it wasn't for him, I'd have never been the NWA World Heavyweight Champion in 1981 when wrestling was still wrestling. So, God bless Harley and his family, uh, you know, but the Stan Hansons, the Ole Andersons, and... Uh, you know, Buzz saw you. I mean, we were wrestling around the world for two years, longest angle in the world. Jerry the King Lala hit under the ring for eight hours. I mean, so I had, you know, just come come get some of his knowledge is all I can tell you because I've learned from the best. A lot of fans wanted to know, you were a, a chick magnet when in your young days. I mean, <laughs> how, what was the what was the scene like with all the, with the women? Like, I mean, when you were a young guy, I mean, I'm sure you were swarmed. Yeah, but all the ladies love me. Eight to eight, and the grannies love me, too. I seen Ole Anderson get beat to death with a cane before because he was beating up on Tommy Rich. So, you know, it's like I said, if not for the fans, we wouldn't be here today. God bless them, and, and uh, thank you for coming and interviewing us. And, you know, it's a pleasure to be here in Philly, too. What is, uh, what is one of your favorite? Big Don, baby! The big Don right here. Oh, you just mentioned something that triggered me. The FBI and ECW, that was one of the favorite stables and times during ECW. Do you have a favorite memory in ECW or Paul Heyman? Yeah, well, Paul Heyman, you know, he came to Tennessee. I mean, he started, he started there. He was with me there, and uh, I had the opportunity to come up here and shoot. That was another place I got to live a dream because I never managed before, and what a job that was. And, and what a great group of guys up here. A lot of wild, wilder than a buck, rebel boys, but at heart, I'm a rebel too. And you, know, I'm, you were a locker room leader in ECW. I mean, you were a veteran like Terry Funk. Were you guys um, instrumental, a lot of the, the younger guys developing? Well, they, I mean, yeah, I mean, if, I'm the type. I mean, you go to some of these dressing rooms now, and uh, they come up and want to tell me what to do. Come on now. You going to do a moonsault on me? Yeah, come on. I won't be there and kick a dog stink out of them when I get up. You know what I'm saying? But but those that have respect for what we do, when I say respect, I mean the history. I've done this for 40 years, but I don't consider myself a legend. The legends are the ones that really pioneered the road, the Ken Pateras, uh, the Fujis, the Kabukis, uh, Bobby, Gary Hart. Uh, you know, I can go on for days. And, and But I had the opportunity. Everybody come through Atlanta, and I got to wrestle the cream of the crop. And... Uh, Thank you, Lord, you know, because I got to wrestle the best of the best. Well, f f a couple of questions more. Do you, what was your favorite cities or towns to wrestle in? 
God, I loved everywhere because everybody loved me. You know, <laughs> you know, I can't. Ain't no, you know, it's, it's just. You know, I mean, I was blessed. I started when I was 18, and for 40 years I've got to live my dream and still living it. So everywhere has been great to you me. You still wrestle? Yes, I do fundraisers and stuff. You know, not as much. What I used to do seven days a week, wrestle ten times. I do it two days on the weekend. It takes me five to get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Rich, folks, thank you so much for joining. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.